kind of something a little different. Um, you might notice that we aren't doing Kingdom Hearts for a hot minute. That's because uh, not only is it difficult with me working 40 hours a week now, uh, the COPPA stuff makes it even more difficult because we weren't sure if we were going to be able to continue with that series. Now, we know that we can, but at the time, we had put it on hiatus, which is why you should follow our Instagram and you should follow us on Facebook. Uh, Facebook sucks. Instagram kind of sucks. I post content on there. Constant updates. I post when I go live. So I've been live, I've been live streaming, so go in the freaking description if you want to keep following us. Follow our, or go to our Discord, or uh, whichever Discord I have linked down there. We don't have our own Discord yet. And aside from all of that, uh, Kingdom Hearts will be back pretty soon. Hopefully you guys enjoy that, and hopefully you enjoy this video, so leave a like and comment, please. It helps us out a lot. And record now. Uh... So, a little bit of a backstory. This is a mystery box from my local a mystery bag from my local Hot Topic. As you can see, your boy only paid 16 bucks for it. What's in here? And one of my receipts shows everything that's in it. So I mean, uh, that kind of sucked. But I've been working Black Friday and shopping on Thursday, which I don't really recommend people do, but your boy ain't any better, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Keep in mind I got this a while ago, so this is kind of old. And to start off, Immortal Engines, Hot Topic, who is this? Oh, Immortal Engines, whoops. Hot Topic exclusive, Hester Shaw. Never saw the movie. Don't necessarily care? I mean user and a customer or something, but at least I didn't pay a full price for any of this crap. Okay, this one I actually was going to pick up for a customer. Or for a custom. Daryl Ward from Bright. I'm going to kind of go through this one kind of quickly. I mean, I'm... Uh, Vol. Look, she was fucking marked down to $3. God damn. Uh, I'm going to give this one to my little brother. See it back there. Right below the. Oh, there we go. So, those white boxes right there next to my Amiibo that I have yet to open, those are all pops from my little brother. He is a huge Star Wars fan. I mean, I'm a Star Wars fan myself, but way really too much shit to collect. And as you can tell, I collect way too much as it is. That's not even including my fucking. Uh, It's not even including my fucking Dragon Ball Z pops and my My Hero Academia pops, which are over there, which might be in a separate video because I got some new stuff. And oh, wow, Korat! Which was he? It's like it's one of the guys from Captain Marvel. I almost picked this one up to be honest. Glad I didn't do that at full price. So that was the four pops. So let me rip this off here. Let's see, we get one movie moment, one two pack, and four regular pops. I got the four regular pops right there. Let's see what our two pack is. Captain Marvel vs. Chun Li. Hot Topic version. Ooh. Okay. Alan will appreciate that. I knew that I was going to get this one already, I mean, they were trying to get, they were trying to get rid of those things for so long that they marked them down to as low as $3, and in some places, $1. So, anybody that's trying to make a custom stand, and doesn't want to get ripped off by the fake custom, uh, get this Captain Marvel, because those are the aviators. And you could probably find it for a dollar <laughs> somewhere. And now let's break out the movie moment. This is going to go in the trade pile immediately because... Oh, Jesus. It is Grindelwald. If you can't tell, I didn't like this movie whatsoever. <laughs> yep. Trade pile. 
Oh. Mm, maybe I can use Grunderwald for a custom. But it is either going to go in the trade pile or the trash pile. Yeah.